So we've heard what Noel Gallagher thinks about the Strokes, but how about what the Strokes think about Noel Gallagher and Oasis? Here's a clip from quite an interesting interview they did with Canadian interviewer Nardwar back in the early days, where they referenced one of the gigs Noel mentioned he had gone to. Everything about the Strokes, I believe, including that Noel Gallagher came to one of your gigs. Number two, Morrissey won. Awesome, oh, so you're more excited about Noel Gallagher than Morrissey? No, no. no. Does that tell a bit about his influences at all, Nick? We actually... Does that tell a bit about we, his influence? We, Come on, answer that question. Does that tell a bit about his influences? He's more excited with Noel Gallagher than Morrissey. <laughs> That's pretty bad, isn't it? Can't let, me, let me finish, dude. The reason why I said it was cool because I didn't meet Morrissey and Noel Gallagher. I was in the bathroom and some fu fu some guy came up, some guy came in and like and we were there and like we almost got into like I don't know like not a fight but like like Noel Gallagher just like stepped right in and it was like I don't know I just thought that was sort of cool you know that's all that's that's the only thing I was talking about. Not and this is just not a gig in England. This is like in Philadelphia in the middle of nowhere. They came out to see you guys, right? Oasis. We were playing a show that night early. And then they just they just came and like I don't know like I think I I never really listened to their. Hey, don't go away, Nick. I'm not going away. I never really listened to their music, but um, but I, I you know it was just when you meet someone and they're nice to you, it's like you know I, I I'm not gonna like ju I I never met him before you know and I saw interviews like this and I always thought he was an asshole and I thought he was gonna be an asshole but he was he was like a normal like guy and he was. An you haven't met his brother Paul Gallagher. He's the asshole. Right. No, Liam Gallagher was there. I didn't really talk to him. No, no, they have another brother, Paul, the fattish older one. There's Noel, Liam, and Paul Gallagher. I, I didn't know that. He's the one that rides their coattails. Were there any other good um, Noel Gallagher stories that you got at all, Nick? Did you get any Noel Gallagher stories? No. That's it. That's the one. Did he give you any advice about Britain at all or going over there? Like, hey, you guys, I saw you in the paper. I used you as toilet paper. Uh, and they're using you as toilet paper. And get back at them. Don't appear in the press like gay dad. Uh, no, not really. It was more like, uh, I like your music, thank you, and we were drinking. Again, the good advice, he said, don't get caught up in drugs. And I said, uh, thanks, no. That's true. He said, he said, actually, he said, I did drugs until I was 30. And then, like, you know, and then I just, now I've stopped. I had my fun, and now it's different. You have to wait for Noel Gallagher to tell you that? What about your parents? Dude, I, I, you asked me what he fucking said, dude. Julian of the rock and roll band The Strokes, what... It could be maybe perceived as a bit of a diss when Julian says he didn't listen to Oasis, but I think it's just a genuine statement, and it sounds like a pretty normal and jovial interaction that they had. I have to say I remember when I first watched this years ago, it was the first time I'd seen a Nard White interview, and thought that was maybe his style. But after watching other interviews, I think he's fairly hard on the strokes here, as he's often very nice to other guests. Or maybe I'm calling that one wrong. As always, let us know what you think in the comments.